Hello and welcome back. Sean here, Mountains Garage. Today, I have the pleasure of having my young son running the camera. I've never had anybody videotape me and make a video, so there may be some growing pains, but it's a beautiful Friday. He's back from visiting his grandparents and came out in the shop to shake me down for money <laughs> and didn't even bring me a snack. So, Yesterday, I shot a video on Turbo 400 parts, and today I received more in the mail, or UPS technically, and I wanted to talk about this particular kit that I bought from ATI. Uh, a little about ATI, they're based out of Maryland. I've always thought they were you know, one of the good companies, and I still believe that. They used to, you know, back when all your information was in magazines or national drags or something like that. They always had a big sale every year where I could drool over parts I couldn't afford. But even today, they're still selling really quality products. And they're, they have a unique take on, well, they do a lot of transmissions, but specifically the Turbo 400 parts. They're a little bit different. The bell housings, their SFI cases are all a little bit different. But if you're in the market for a aluminum drum, direct drum for Turbo 400, right off the bat, you just spend a thousand dollars just for the drum. Uh, ATI offers this kit here. This is a, this particular kit. Everybody always wants to know the part number, so I'm going to give you the part number for this one and mention some other things. But it's 407056. I had to look at the box. This is the box that just came in. UPS, let's get that out of the way. They had them on the phone the other day. I had a tech question. I've actually asked two or three tech questions over the last month. I have got one out of three answered. <laughs> That's not a great success rate, but anyway. Uh, I asked for catalog. I like to have a printed catalog. It's a lot easier just to grab a piece of paper when you're looking for something specific, especially when you're trying to determine which pieces you need and they are not currently offering a catalog and their website is pretty good once you learn your way around it the navigation portion but it's not real specific they'll show a random picture of a turbo 400 drum and then there's 12 options underneath you have to read all the fine print the valve bodies are the same way uh, it's not a rookie experience you have to definitely read between the lines this kit comes with everything you see and we're going to go over the things that stuck out to me once i took it out of the box uh they offered one more kit that had this kit has a billet direct piston for the direct drum aluminum that i bought 36 element sprag they had one more kit that had a billet piston for the center support that they give you and i did not get that one I'm giving him the scene to shut it off. And we're back. We're practicing shutting it off and on. So you're watching live. So in this kit, again, it's aluminum, drum, 36 element, pro mod, sprag, if you will. What I like about this, and I mentioned a week or so ago when I was talking about Turbo 400 patch, that most often when you get a 36 element sprag, you have to have, they end up being Ford C6 automatic direct drum clutches, I believe because everything's bigger. They use an existing parts, offering you a bigger sprag. Well, this is a 36 element with a Turbo 400 sized intermediate clutch pack, or 4L80E intermediate clutch pack. So that's pretty good. So let's start with what they give you. They give you a new fretting ring, along with the center support. I'm trying to pick it up, but it's offering problems. Now, right off the bat, I looked at it, it's brand new. It's 8,000 smaller than the stock one. As you know, the fretting ring combined with the lug gives you your depth of this sitting in the case. I don't want it sitting down 8,000 smaller than it's supposed to be. It's nice they gave me a new one, and maybe there's certain instances where the case is machined different, but I have never needed a thinner fretting ring. I'll probably try assembling it with the stock one first because I measured this is stock dimension here for a center support that needs a fretting ring. They give you a well-used 
send us a port. They have put a new bushing in it. They have machined off where the fourth seal would be. We always leave that one off anyway. We only put three on. And they've also machined in between the bottom two ceiling grooves and put this two-piece brass support that helps support where the drum rides over the center support. This drum, I want to mention before I forget, has a steel liner. So the Teflon seals that they give you are riding in steel, not riding on aluminum. A lot of the direct drums out there, you're putting the Teflon seals right on the aluminum. I believe over time, that's going to be a wear problem. So they give you this stuff. That's nice. I don't have to clean up an old center support. I wished it had the billet piston, but... I've never cracked a stock piston, so I'm not sure it's a big concern. Where I am concerned, they gave me, well, gave me, it was part of the package. Sometimes I had to grab this stuff. They gave me a four clutch intermediate, which is, this is all 480E dimension stuff. They gave me a, what appears to be a well-used pressure plate, probably tumbled or cleaned. It's a nice shape, but it is stock. Turbo 400 thickness. In my experience, I buy, hang on, and we're back, we're still practicing. So I've gone and got a stock piston, non-billet. Again, I've never broken one. Don't know anybody that's broken one, but I still, if I have one billet piston, now I want all three. So I stock, I made an investment a while back to buy 4L80E, steels and clutches for the intermediate to retrofit into a Turbo 400. And I bought the factory plate that the 4L80E uses to allow you to run four clutches. It's a GM 867-5519, uh, which I'm kind of sad because they rust in the package, but I'll clean this right up. But I know from my experience that I typically have to put one 100 thousandths thick, which is stock dimension, 4L80E steel, and three 4L80E clutches and steels, excuse me, four clutches, three steels. So I've run one stock dimension turbo 400 and three 4L80E thickness and four, four 4L80E thickness clutches, the 4L80E pressure plate. And this measures about an inch thick. This is the intermediate three clutch pack out of a Turbo 400, it's about one inch is thick. That's about the range when I assemble it with a stock piston, I'm gonna have the right amount of clearance. So, when I measure what ATI gave me, I'm a hundred, excuse me, an inch 40 thousandths. So the 40 plus thousandths thicker, that is my clearance. I'm not sure how this is gonna fit in the case. In my experience, it's gonna be way too tight. Time will tell. Especially, now yesterday when I was talking, I bought some 4L80E intermediate snap rings and they were right around 100 thousandths, I think, 95 thousandths. Well, this one they gave me the WAPA, the big thick one, 107 thousandths thick, which is also going to cut into your clearance, or lack thereof. I don't know how this is ever gonna fit, but in the future, in the near future, probably, we'll find out if this stuff fits, because this is all for me. I had a passing thought that maybe their billet piston was somehow thinner, but when you put the beveled snap ring where it's going to live, you don't have a lot of space to gain right there, so I don't believe that is where they're gaining the clearance, nor is there any mention of it in the minimal instructions that came with it. So let's just push this stuff out of the way and talk about the drum itself. Again, they give you a billet piston. Well, let's talk about the drum itself first. In all the important areas, there is no damage to this drum in shipping. However, this surface here has a lot of pock marks on it, which bothers me for a $1,000 drum. It's not in a critical area. I won't complain about it. Just wish it wasn't there. But in the important areas, it's good. They have what appears to be a 60,000 some bleed hole. There's no check ball in the piston, but there is one, excuse me, in the drum, there is a check ball in the billet piston, which came with the new seals, so that's pretty much ready to install after I clean it. They give me 
a six clutch direct pack. They give you one 77 thousandths thick steel, which is what would be in the forward clutch pack. The direct ones are thicker, about 88 thousandths. So they're not using any stock dimension Turbo 400 steels. So they give you one thick one to go next to the piston, and then they give you some 60 thousandths steels to make up the difference for a total of six, and they give you six stock dimension, green high energy. Same with the intermediate, there's a smooth green high energy. They give you probably a, re a refurbished pressure plate and a well-used snap ring. I can see where it used to be in a drum. But that's fine, it's all usable stuff. It builds a six clutch pack intermediate with a billet piston. They give you their trans brake springs, heavy duty, which I'm gonna need. They'll work with anybody's valve body as long as they're not stock in the direct drum. You want some heavy springs. I will be using the Sonics heavy duty spring retainer. This is a, what appears to be a stock replacement. I should measure the thickness against a stock one, hang on. And we're back. I spent a few minutes looking for a stock spring retainer that I didn't have any loose and I was gonna give up. Then I realized I could measure this against the thick one. That's something, this is 5,000 thicker than this, but I still have to believe this gold one that was supplied with this kit is probably thicker than a stock one, but until I get one loose in the wild here, I don't have any because I used them all, uh, I can tell you. So you'll have to trust me on that one. And they give me a new snap ring that appears to be new. So compared to most of these Direct drums, aluminum for a Turbo 400, also for the ADE. Uh, they're all around $1,000. Uh, some companies, the difference between a 34 element that would take a stock intermediate clutch pack and a 36, which takes a different clutch pack, they're about $100 difference. I like that the ATI lets me use stock dimension Turbo 400 stuff. The area where the intermediate clutches ride is plenty wide, way wider than a 480E Sprague race even. Uh, it's unbelievably close to the aluminum drum. you think it would make aluminum shavings, but it doesn't ever seem to hit. It's huge. And there's small screws that hold the snap ring in to keep the Sprague on the back. Pretty nice looking piece, all things considered. My shirt's come unbuttoned, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to assemble this and put it off to the side. This is mine. Uh, I have a complete transmission that was for my twin turbo 72 Nova. When I sold it, I kept it. It's a pretty trick piece we built almost two years ago now. I just watched the video the other day. It has a 36 element uh, drum, but it's a steel drum for street driving. That may be a better choice. I mean, the steels are eventually gonna wear in here, I would think. I don't know how many miles you can put on one of these without wearing it out, but I guess we'll find out someday. So thinking to myself, I'm going to build a second transmission. I want to put it in an SFI case, despite the fact I have at any given point, 12 heavy duty stock cases that I've already owned. And uh, an SFI case is $2,000 ish. Uh, my end goal is to put all this in an SFI case and, you know, build myself an even better transmission than I already have. So we'll see how that goes. What did he say again? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm Marcus Mountain. I'm the certified shop monkey, and we'll see you next time.